Zimbabwe's government says it has introduced restrictions to control a cholera outbreak that is suspected to have killed more than 100 people in the country. The health ministry disclosed in a statement that social gatherings has been suspended, while the number of people allowed to attend funerals have also been restricted as part of the measures put in place to curtail the spread of the disease. It added that handshakes and serving of food at funerals in areas affected by the outbreak have also been banned. The health ministry had on Wednesday announced 100 suspected cholera deaths, 30 of which turned out positive. The ministry confirmed 905 cholera cases out of more than 4,600 suspected cases. Well, I'm now joined by Wambaraishi Nadi, a councillor in Harare City Council. Thank you so much for joining us, Wambaraishi. Good evening. Thank you very much. Good evening. It's a pleasure to have you join us as well. Uh, now, what would you tell us that is the specific action that the city council can take to ensure a clean and safe water supply as contaminated water is often a source of cholera outbreaks, of course. Uh, thank you very much. I think um, as the city council, uh, this has come at a time whereby uh, we are in the heart of uh, the summer season and the water levels have dropped in terms of uh, the water supply for the city of Harare. So this is an emergency case, an emergency scenario, uh, but uh, we are trying by all means necessary to contain uh, the, the the cholera outbreak. And we have uh, work, we are working hand in hand with the Minister of Local Government in ensuring that everyone is on board in terms of allowing uh, themselves not to be uh, contracting a deadly um, ailment such as cholera, which has actually hit the streets. So. We have ensured that uh, as a city council, we are taking safe and clean water to different designated areas where we, are, we, are, we have uh, cited that these are uh, hot spots of, uh, that are possible and capable of uh, having the cholera. So we ensure that we are, we are providing water through uh, uh, movable houses that are being taken to different designated areas. And we've also ensured that uh, we deal with uh, the illegal vending uh, activities that have been going on. Uh, you see people want to hike a living, but uh, given the scenario, we do not allow people to be vending everywhere and every time. So we are ensuring that people are accessing water. And also, beyond that, we have ensured that we have uh, water treatment tablets that are being distributed across the breadth and length of Harare so that we contain uh, the, the cholera outbreak. So these are some of the measures that have been put in place on top of the restrictions that have also been put in place in terms of uh, ensuring that people are not gathered in their numbers because uh, this being a waterborne disease once people are gathered and there is not enough much uh, water to be used you tend to get uh, the cholera spread so in trying to keep the spread uh, these measures are being seen that they are implemented with the city health department and also by the health uh, of the ministry itself all right uh, it's a good thing to know that the government is um, putting all these measures in place uh, to curb the spread but still speaking of curbing the spread how well can the city council um, raise awareness or how well are they working to raise awareness among the residents about the prevention of cholera and curbing the spread and the importance of practicing good hygiene during this period? Thank you very much. I think uh, given the scenario that uh, we are now living in the digital age, we are using uh, the city council social media handles to communicate with our different stakeholders and we've also taken uh, note of all the stakeholders and given them also a, a role to play. So people that are there out there that are providing uh, a water guard, people that have uh, been dealing with refuse collection, water reticulation and sanitation, everyone has been brought on board in terms of communicating with the citizens and are also having uh, given every councillor within their own ward, they have a mandate to go down and communicate with every household to ensure that people understand that they have a cholera outbreak. Once they have uh, symptoms of diarrhea, they must rush to the nearest clinic where we have also ensured that everyone who goes there for anything that is related to diarrhea is treated freely and is tested for, for, for cholera before it's spread out. So um, in terms of communication dissemination, we have tried to do uh, our part. And also we have uh, uh, women that are called um, in Zimbabwe, we call them Mbuya Otano. These are health workers that go around training and teaching people 
about uh, healthcare, about uh, cleanliness, hygiene, sanitation, and water. And they have also been dis um, disbased in different locations so that they go down and meet uh, every citizen, tell them about uh, the outbreak of cholera. Since some people might not be uh, privy to the situation, but we are trying by all means that we have awareness campaigns being done by the city council or employees, by, done by social media, and also the mainstream media uh, in Zimbabwe is also working flat out to ensure that uh, everyone knows that there is cholera and they must be taking precautions so that we keep it. All right, uh, Councillor in Harare City Council, Umbaraishi Nendi, thank you so much for your time with us on the news. Thank you very much.